I don't want to go there. I don't want to go Within there. Within the crucible of your tongue. So, one of the things that demons do is that they entice. But, you see, a demon's enticement will be an act of futility if there is no lust in your heart as a foundation for that effort. It is the enticement that now leads to a drawing away. So temptation becomes a very powerful strategy in the hands of the devil in manipulating the focus of believers and giving them another reason to adventure outside of the scope of their calling. I want you to know how powerful a temptation is. A temptation does not deprive you of your doctorate degree. Your brain is still at work. You are still alive. You are alert. It's not as if you are under anesthesia. No, you are good. You are still sharp. But yet, the moment that lust comes, it engages your emotion. And when your emotion is engaged, you are no longer capable of straight, balanced thinking. I don't know if you have powered overly, powered overly by the emotion. When the emotion comes, it destabilizes the soul and it deprives you of subjecting issues through the normal thought protocol that would have become a defense for you. So the plane in which temptation takes place avoids the scrutiny and the analysis of your mind to the end that it provokes your will to make a choice that you did not process. Oh, you're not here. Now, I'm just trying to build just a simple foundation before we begin this matter. Because by the time we go to Jesus, you will discover Jesus he was 100% God, 100% man, so he had human desires. Oh my, you're not here. Uh, I'm trying real hard, <laughs> and I ask God to supply the grace. <laughs> Stay with me. Satan does not put you to sleep in order for him to tempt you. He doesn't knock you out. There are surgeries that are done. And you need to be knocked out. You just wake up to see that they've taken out what they wanted to take out. And what is left is what you can see. That's not how temptation is. You are alert. You are awake. You are aware. But yet, your defense protocols are, are bypassed. You become a victim of something that you are wiser than. You have enough education, you have enough experience to know that this is not the way to go. But there's a spirit element in it. That's why all of the defenses that you have within uh, the scope of your experience and, and the use of your mind, they fall like a pack of cards. The reason why temptation normally wins is because the lost doesn't belong to the devil the lost is yours <laughs> uh, should I proceed <laughs> now I will need to unveil a few things that temptation is not possible outside of the use of your spiritual senses. Satan will use your spiritual senses to enhance his temptation program. Are you with me? You're not with me. All right, you according to scriptures okay with, within the limits of my understanding of scriptures because what i know may not be all that there is okay so within the limits of my understanding of scriptures i am i know that we have four spiritual senses 
all right okay let me one of those senses is the hearing of faith where you hear the voice of god speak to you but it was not audible but you picked it in the frequency of god during a time of temptation satan is going to speak to you the same way the same way god speaks to you he will borrow your spirit the faculty of your spiritual senses oh my god <laughs> and, uh, he will begin to communicate and the reason why you will he, he, he will come in take the microphone inside sit in the studio and begin to communicate the reason why he passed through all of the security systems in your inner man is because you were in possession of something called lust on the strength of that lust there is a form of compatibility that you have with satan and he takes advantage of that compatibility to come into your space and he begins to speak using the resources and the infrastructure that are built in you designed to enhance god's purposes he he, he, he takes it over and he begins to use it begins to communicate it, it's at some point it's as if there is a voice speaking that is and that voice can give you so much wisdom on how to accomplish the the will of the temptation <laughs> so much wisdom you become exceptionally wise <laughs> in executing the object of the temptation all of that was with the use of the infrastructure of your spiritual senses and architecture all to draw you away as long as truth is standing side by side you there is a possibility for you to awake from your slumber but he draws you away from where the voice of truth can speak to you so that he isolates you on an island where he has ultimate ability to manipulate your fortunes that's how terrible temptation is